she works for the Cherry Blossom Golf Club. Yeah, and we're very pleased to have you here uh, in Georgetown. How long has Cherry Blossom Golf Club been here in town? It has been open since 2002. Okay. So for quite a while. Um, Jazz owned it before and then the Conleys bought it a couple years ago. I've been working for about two years here and they bought it just a couple years before that, the Conleys had. And what is your title? Working manager, bartender, restaurant manager. So you kind so of just do everything. Right? Anything they ask me to do. <laughs> Make wonderful. flyers, do emails, and pretty much just serve. <laughs> you wear way too many hats, no doubt, I bet. So, yes. Uh, what are some of the things that you like about being in the wedding business and getting to do so many things here like that? You get lots of ideas. Um, you see a bunch of different I was about to things. say, do we, have you used no. those ideas? No. <laughs> no ideas for me personally, but just to help with the next situation of the next uh, rehearsal dinner or reception, it's really nice that we can kind of tie in all the different ones together. Um, Bruce always comes up with a new idea. Bruce Taylor, he's our chef. He always comes up with a new idea. We have buffets or plate dinners. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice. You meet a lot of different people and they're a lot of fun. That's awesome. And a lot of people, a lot of fun. Well, we've been hearing amazing things about Bruce um, and the food that he makes. What are one or two of the dishes that he makes that you really, really like? For the restaurant or for the rehearsal dinners? Either way. Either both, one. yeah, both. Okay. I love food. Let's talk about food. We just made, he just came up with a new menu. Um, we have specialties, pastas, chicken dinners, steaks. My favorite is the twin filet Oscar. And it is the steak with the crab meat on top and asparagus. Ooh. And then he oh. has like garlic mashed potatoes, baked potato, pretty much anything you want. It's delicious. And then also he makes a lobster ravioli. And you know, here in Kentucky, it's hard to find good seafood. Yeah, definitely. And Bruce can make it taste wonderful. He okay. adds a little extra Bruce Taylor specialty to it. Mm -hmm. And it's great. It's phenomenal. Sounds good. And rehearsal dinners, what's the process with that? I didn't even know you guys did that here. They, we can either take reservations through phone or email. Um, usually they call and start getting questions and then call back. Let me talk to the bride and groom. Usually it's the parents mm -hmm. of one or the other. And they call, they get um, information from Luther, and then they talk to the bride and groom. And they come back to us and request more information about the package deals, how many people we hold, and the certain types of food that we have. Um, emails are usually sent out to them with the package deals. Luther has them all set up according to how many people there are, what whether you want steak, chicken, I think they might start doing seafood. Oh, awesome. Also, they have all the desserts, different things on there, and he sends out the full package, and then they decide but either by email or reservation by calling back whether they want to do package one, two, or three. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like people have a lot of options to kind of work with whatever budget they're going with, yes. however many people they're going to have. What capacity do you all tend to see? Within the clubhouse restaurant, we have seating for 150. Oh, okay. And then it, for the summer and um, springtime weddings, there's some people that like to have either the patio or the deck. Just extra little um, seating. We seat up to 200 that way. But inside the clubhouse, it's 150. Wow. And can you describe uh, the various rooms? Are there two or three main rooms here within the facility that most people have their events at? Yes. It is one open room. Um, the fireplace in the middle separates it, but there's room for a DJ, a band. There's a dance floor that you can put, yes. and then the reception or a rehearsal dinner on the other side if you want to separate them. However you want to set it up, it's easy to do. Great. Do you ever get out there and dance at some of the wedding receptions? Well, <laughs> I've tried. And then it's kind of just turned into a big laughing stock, so I just kind of walk away. Oh, I know. It's good exercise. Yes. It's wonderful. That's yes. Good. Great. And the golf course outside, do you ever get uh, some grooms and groomsmen going out there and playing on yes. the weekend of a wedding? <laughs> yes. Kind of like their bachelor party, but more oh. calm. Um, we have them um, from months in advance before the wedding to the day of the wedding where they come in, everybody's trying to relax and have a good time and they play 18 holes, enjoy themselves and 
by the time they leave, they're relaxed and ready to have a wedding. Very nice. So, what are some of the most interesting weddings you've seen? I mean, what are some things that just stand out? Mm -hmm. There's been a couple. <laughs> My favorite is, it was the reception. She came in, beautiful, gorgeous gown. Mm -hmm. Everybody was having a great time, lovely. And you know how the new feathers are in style? Yes, definitely. Well, she had a peacock one. Her, um, they were navy and uh, it's like a darker green mm -hmm. for like their colors. And she had a peacock oh, feather beautiful. in her hair. Yeah. It was the most interesting, but it was. It was beautiful. Everything tied in great together. That's fantastic. Yes. Yeah. So see, great ideas coming from everywhere. Hairstyles, the food, the yeah. decorations. When a bride tells you and a family tells you how much uh, you guys help them and, and what their day meant to them because of your help, what sense of pride does that give you? It's unreal. Mm -hmm. I take a lot of pride in Cherry Blossom because the Conlings have taken me in more like family. And everybody that works here, it's just like one large family. That's awesome. So we work great together. And then to hear someone say that, it just... It almost brings tears to my eyes, honestly, because just to know that somebody's day, the most important day of their life, is better because we all worked together and gave them exactly what they wanted. So it's That's a sweet, it's amazing. I know I feel a little like misty eyed <laughs> when you talk about it. That's awesome. It's it's really amazing. What's the website address? It is cherryblossomgolf.com. Cherryblossomgolf.com. Yes, ma'am. And it's right on there. And you go to restaurants and events, and it will give you listing packages and then emails to send as well. That's wonderful to go to. Well, we appreciate it, and uh, we'll be back with more of the bridal show after these messages. Hello, and welcome to LexCon. Lexpon is the only online coupon company that is devoted to its customers in Lexington as well as Central Kentucky. We have amazing deals on everything that you need as well as everything that you want. Look, we're all looking for ways to save money. Why not stretch your dollars with Lexpon? Just sign up below and start receiving your daily deals. It's time to save some serious money. So what are you waiting for? We are at Carriage House Gifts and Flowers with Karen Tingle Sams, the owner of the establishment. Karen, thank you very much for having us out today. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. Great. And can you tell us a little bit about your shop and what you guys do here? Sure. We are a gift shop and a floral shop, and we've been here now for the last 40 years in Georgetown. So we've been established for quite some time here, and we do gifts, and we have ornamental concrete outside, but what we really do a lot of is fresh flower work and wedding or something that we enjoy doing a whole lot. Great, and how does the process begin? If a bride-to-be comes in and wants to meet with you, uh, how does everything start out with that? A lot of times it, it's she will come into the shop or even by phone call. And then what we like to do, instead of stopping in the middle of the day to talk with her, we really like to set up an appointment because I don't want to be interrupted with other things going on because that day is the most important day of her life. And so I want to sit down and be focused on what she's looking looking for and what she wants. So that's what we usually do is we set up an appointment kind of after hours and then she can come with her mom or with her friends and her bridesmaids, whoever she wants to bring with her and we'll sit down and then I'll get to know her and get to figure out what she likes, what style she likes, where her budget is and where she's going to get married and all the particulars and then I'll be able to take her ideas and then develop them into what we can do for her. Great. 
Wonderful. And so we, Audra just mentioned trends. What are yes. some of the hot new trends in flowers? Well, you've seen for a long time, you've seen kind of the nosegay, which the nosegay is the, the bundle that's kind of clustered together. Well, now we're going back to the cascade bouquets, which are the ones that are nice and flowy and, and fuller with more flowers into it. Um, the flower trends that have been really popular, hydrangeas that are popular, Gerber yes, daisies. Definitely. The young girls love Gerber daisies because they're big and they're full of color. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing a lot of uh, bouquets now for the bride in particular that are no longer just white, but they like that pop of color in it, which is more fun. And the dresses are kind of bright, hot colors, and they're just the color is beautiful in the weddings. And actually, when you take pictures, the color really stands out and pops. So we get to know what the bride likes, what her personality is, and then you can incorporate that into the flowers that she chooses. As far as color, I mean, just the shop in general, there are just a lot of festive decorations, wonderful things, yes. you know, for the home and all that. And you're talking about personalizing it for a bride. And earlier mm -hmm. you were telling me the shape of the flowers can sometimes go with the woman's figure and things like that. I, I yes. had no idea it was that complex. Sometimes if you're a petite lady, then mm -hmm. a young girl, then you don't want the flowers to over, to be so big that all you see is flowers and you don't see the bride. Then if you're a tall, stately lady, more, girl like more like I am, then you can carry something that's a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. But then if your dress is over the top with uh, all the beads and the pearls and all that, well maybe you don't want your bouquet to be so big that you hide that because that's your biggest investment into your wedding day is your dress. And then the flowers are actually supposed to be an accent to the dresses and to the overall scheme of of the wedding and you know that day to me is all about the bride because for one day in every girl's life she can be a princess for a day and it's all about her and it's all about what she wants and what we can do for her that's mm -hmm. wonderful so you get girls in here for the weddings and um, after that I mean are there other events in their lives that that you want to be a part of yeah, actually, once you become, because talking to the girls about the flowers and even talking with their parents mm -hmm. and their family and all that, you kind of actually feel like you become a little bit of a part of their family yeah. because that's that most important day of their life. So you've become this special, special part of that. And so then after that, when births come along, anniversaries come along, special events in their life come along, and there's flowers that are needed, they come back and they remember that you helped them out on that special day of their, their life as mm -hmm. it began. Great. And the day of a wedding, what's the process like? Do you usually deliver the flowers to the venue or do they come by and pick them up? It can be either or and that's the choice of the bride and her family as to which way that she would like to have it handled. Uh, if It's going to be, it's a stressful day on, mm -hmm. on your wedding day, regardless really? if it's a small, yeah, really, <laughs> regardless if it's small or big, it is so stressful. So it's just a matter of what they want us to do. A lot of times if we go deliver it, take it to them, we can take a lot of that stress off, or, off of them so they don't have to worry about it and actually I have a little bit of stress on the wedding day too because oh. until I know the bride is down the aisle I'm always worried and concerned and hoping everything is just as perfect as it can be for her. absolutely mm -hmm. well thank you so much for your oh, time you're welcome. And, and introducing us to a little bit of what you do now if people want to call you what's the number they can get in touch with you we are in the uh, local phone book but the number to call is 502 866 1822 so they can check us out through our website as well fantastic well thank you so much and one final thing I believe I found out that you were the mayor of Georgetown yes how does that job compare how did you get into that could you explain well, Actually, uh, the shop had a lot to do with me becoming mayor because in a business like this, you meet so many people in your local community and you have such a big part in their lives because of the events in their life that they need flowers. So that's where I got to know a whole lot of people and things opened up because of the shop that I could run for mayor and was mayor for a term here in Georgetown. But I will say the transition back to coming back to the shop and being back in the family business was an easy one to do. Okay. <laughs> Probably not as many emails. Males and Not like nearly that. as many, much calmer here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. It's good that you've enjoyed both, and congratulations. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you again just for your time and for being with us today. Oh, you're welcome. We appreciate it. Thank you. And we'll be right back.
show. We're here with Rachel and Chad, and we're here to discuss their wedding. All right, so you guys, thanks for coming and just hanging out with us. So when was your wedding? Um, it was October 8th, so just about five weeks ago okay. here in Lexington. All right, and what, what was the venue? We got married at St. Paul Parish downtown. We had a Catholic Mass at 1.30. We wanted to do something different, so we had an afternoon ceremony. And then immediately following, we were at Spindletop Hall out off Ironworks Pike. It was a nice day. We actually met on Halloween night. Oh, <laughs> that's spooky. 2009 uh, at a costume party. So it was, uh, it was our first date was kind of awkward because it was almost a blind date. Cause I, we were both dressed up and you never really saw who each other was. What were you guys dressed up as? <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get away. You're not going to get away without telling us that. I was uh, Mario. And I had an inflatable brothers. belly and the mustache and the whole nine yards. It was, it was pretty hilarious. Now I was a fallen angel with all the Aww. black wings and goth makeup and lipstick. So we both had no idea what each other truly looked like. So it was a surprise a week later when we had our first date. <laughs> Italian plumber, fallen angel. Yeah, it definitely fits. It, it works. <laughs> where uh, your first date? Where was it at, and how'd that go? <laughs> the first date was interesting. Uh, the vehicle I drive is pretty hard to park in the city of Lexington anywhere. Okay. And we uh, we went to, we planned to go to Malone's on uh, Tate's Creek. Uh, that was the, the fanciest restaurant I could think of. <laughs> and I couldn't find a parking spot. So I ended up having to park really far away and I was so nervous. I was like, I'm so sorry we have to park so far away. Malone's was, there was a 45 or 50 minute wait, something like that. So we went to Sal's and ate, but we had to eat outside under the, uh, under the heated, heated lamps. But lucky for us, the UK game was on and we both watched UK and we ate at Sal's. And it was neat, it came full circle because we had our, re our rehearsal dinner there. So oh, it was wow. kind of nice to go back to the spot we had our first date. How'd you guys get engaged? How did he pop? I'll let you tell you. I'll let you tell it. It was really sweet. It mm -hmm. was, you know, we're just homebodies. We like to hang out. You know, we're each other's best friend. It was just a normal Sunday. We have a ritual of doing the laundry. I think I was stripping the bed and um, I was taking off the pillowcase and I saw a, a blue velvet box. And I was, what? This is a mistake. And I grabbed it and I turned around and he was on his knee. Uh, and he yeah. asked me. And it was just very sweet because, you know, I didn't want anything fancy or big or, you know, out in public. So it was yeah. really special. And Well, that's perfect. I thought for a second you were going to say he had hidden it on the <laughs> floor. And he said, I found it. <laughs> that's it. That's awesome. Good planning on your part. Yeah, it was sweet. Very nice. Wonderful. And then, uh, so the process comes, you guys are engaged. About how long did it take for you to start looking at vendors and thinking about the dates and when you're going to get married? She, she really started as soon as it happened after she got done calling everybody. And, uh, you know, I think she may have even gone to a couple of bridal shows beforehand. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and just like every, you know, woman or little girl, you have an idea in your mind from the age you're, you know, 10 or 12 of what you want. So I, I knew what I wanted, but I got right on it. So. so how many bridesmaids, how many groomsmen? Was it a large party? I had, let's see, five. Mm -hmm. I had five groomsmen and two ushers. Mm -hmm. And I had five bridesmaids, so... It was big to us, but I've been to weddings where there's been 10 on each side, yeah. so yeah. it was pretty well maintained. Did you enjoy the whole planning process and like helping your bridesmaids get their dresses and things like that? I did, um, just because one of them had already been married before and I'd mm -hmm. been through the process with her and she did it right and treated us really right and wasn't a bridezilla, That's so great. I took great. notes from her. and. We just made made a day out of all of it, and you know, go out to lunch and try on the dresses and just have fun and uh, try to not be someone that I'm not, not turn into yeah. a bridezilla. So yeah. they kept me real. You know, if yeah. I ever strayed, they would have said otherwise. That's great. <laughs> it was a good time. Hello, and welcome to LexCon. 
Lexpon is the only online coupon company that is devoted to its customers in Lexington as well as Central Kentucky. We have amazing deals on everything that you need as well as everything that you want. Look, we're all looking for ways to save money. Why not stretch your dollars with Lexpon? Just sign up below and start receiving your daily deals. It's time to save some serious money. So what are you waiting for? set your wedding apart and just made it unique compared to some of the weddings you've seen? Um, well, definitely getting married Catholic. It's not something a lot of people are doing anymore, but it was special to me and we're both Catholic. And so that was a really neat experience. Some of our friends had never been or seen that and it turned out really beautiful. And I think having an afternoon experience mm -hmm. was, was really different, but the leaves were falling. We had beautiful That's light. Awesome. What are some of the other aspects? You say you had a Catholic wedding. So for people who don't know and for even me, I'm not fully mm -hmm. sure what all that would include what are some of the little things that were different well we had some intense preparation to get married Catholic the diocese whatever you're in here it's Lexington we were required to go to several uh, pre-wedding classes mm -hmm. and talk about you know finances and uh, children like, and it yeah. was it was very helpful even though it was like okay I got to get up on a Saturday morning and do this it got us talking about things that we might not have you know sat down and thought about before we got married yeah. So That's great. It seems yeah. like it's easy to not be quite prepared for it. Yeah. It's, it's like you prepare for the day for so long, right. but then there's this whole life afterwards. I was extremely surprised as to the things that we talked about in our preparation classes that, you know, I thought, I didn't even think of that. Should I start thinking of that right now? <laughs> <laughs> well, what were the feelings like? Did you guys from the ceremony take a limo over to the reception? Or how'd you, what did you guys do with we that? We took a... Uh, uh, a Rolls Royce? Yeah. A classic Rolls Very Royce. Um, Where'd you guys get that from? I'm not sure who the vendor was. Thoroughbred. Thoroughbred, that's right. Thoroughbred. Thoroughbred. Yeah. Okay. And Thoroughbred actually provided us transportation for the bridal party with exception to Rachel from uh, Spindletop Hall to the church. Okay. Great. So yeah. they, uh, they were, we ran into an issue with uh, uh, transportation and they really came through for us with the moments call. I mean, we called them that day and asked, we need a band, and there it was. Awesome, so. that's great. And on the car ride over in the in the Rolls Royce, did you have a feeling, what, what were your feelings, relief, excitement about the party to follow, or what? Yeah, I think both. Uh, we were just kind of like, oh wow, we just got married, you know. It's like, oh, check, that part's over. I was like, did we just, we looked down at our fingers yeah. and was oh. like, did we just, How, that get oh, okay, yeah, I guess we're officially, <laughs> officially married. So it was kind of nerve wracking because you're up on the altar the whole time sitting in front of everyone. So we knew it was time to let loose almost and mingle with our guests. So, yeah. so it was, it was a relief. So what about the cake? What was the bride cake and the groom's cake? It was amazing. We went through a lady in Nicholasville. It's called the Sugar Forest, and her mm -hmm. name is Brenda, and she's even been in Southern Living. And it was beautiful. We had a fall-themed cake with uh, the fondant uh, leaves going up it. Oh, it was beautiful. beautiful. And you want to talk about your groom's cake? Yes, my groom's cake. <laughs> uh, this lady did a wonderful job. I'm an avid outdoorsman. I, I enjoy hunting a lot and she was able to 
have a, a, a deer that's, you know, it kind of protruded from the cake. Like 3D. 3D. Wow. So <laughs> it, was, it was amazing and it was delicious too. All right. So what was your reception like? What made it different from some other weddings or what were your favorite parts? We had a cocktail hour, actually for about two hours. <laughs> cocktail <laughs> hours. <laughs> cocktail hours. Um, so that was nice because we had plenty of time to mingle with everyone and have drinks mm -hmm. beforehand. So we weren't rushed to move right along to dinner. So we did that and it was beautiful. And Spindletop has an outdoor veranda. We could go outside. The bar was out there. So that That's was awesome. really nice. Yeah. And um, then we, we had dinner, we had a buffet. Amazing food. It was amazing, it was delicious. And we went right into the cake cutting and the toast and whatnot. And then we, we hit the dance floor. We had, um, his name's Han from Agency Entertainment was our DJ and he did a great job. I sent him quite a in-depth request oh, page, <laughs> multiple pages, a couple hundred songs a couple weeks in advance. And I, I remember, hearing i'd be like oh yeah he got that one so i was very That's pleased funny. with that and we danced all, all night awesome. all night yeah it was great what did you two dance to what was your song our, um, our song was green eyes by coldplay very nice it was wow. uh I, I think it fits <laughs> she's got green eyes so it uh it fit her pretty well mm -hmm. we uh we were on the edge of a couple different songs and she played this one for me and i was like that's our song you know, thank you all so much for joining us, Rachel and Chad, and yeah. many, many years of happiness to you, and, and thanks so much for being with us on the show. Thank you. Thank it was you. good talking about it and reliving those memories. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Wonderful. And thank you all.